So, with Marvel Spider-Man 2 releasing this year and Insomniac's Wolverine game also on its way, it seems like the realm of Marvel video games is starting to pick up and possibly leading to a new interconnected Marvel gaming verse. But there's one hero that's been long overdue for a game and that's the one and only Daredevil. He's a fan favorite and would fit right in with the world that's been set up so far. In fact, he was referenced a few times in the first Spider-Man and there have been different rumors going around for years about him getting his own game. And so I think that the chances of us eventually being able to step into the shoes of the man without fear are entirely likely. And don't tell anybody, but I have a source that sent me leaked, never before seen gameplay footage of an unannounced VR Daredevil game developed by Insomniac. It's pretty cool, huh? Look at those graphics. This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Matt Murdock uses a mask to protect his activities as Daredevil, and Surfshark VPN is a different kind of mask to help you protect yourself online. With different companies and ISPs tracking your activities and information, it's now more important than ever to keep yourself safe. Use my code down below to get 83% off a two year plan of Surfshark VPN and three months free to protect your privacy. Surfshark lets you get the best deals while online shopping by not letting websites show your prices based on your location or device. You can change your virtual location, letting you get past geo blocks and restrictions and access streaming services outside your country. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in more than 100 countries, meaning anywhere you go, you can find a server that fits your needs. With their bypasser, you can add apps or websites into the list that will open without a VPN connection. Multihop lets you put two servers between you and your online destination for even more privacy and security. And there's even a Chrome and Firefox extension that removes all cookie consent pop-ups from the websites you visit. Purchasing a 24-month VPN plan from Surfshark will get you three months extra and 83% off and even includes a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not 100% satisfied. Just scan this QR code on the screen or click Click the link in the description and use my promo code TROYOBOY17. And thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now, we were actually really close to getting a Daredevil game. Back in 2004, Encore and 5000 Feet Inc. were developing Daredevil, the man without fear, in partnership with Sony and Marvel. It had you swinging through Hell's Kitchen, fighting famous Daredevil villains, and grinding across telephone wires? Yeah, so apparently Marvel and Sony had different ideas of what the game should be, with Sony wanting to implement elements such as grinding from their successful Tony Hawk franchise, despite Marvel saying that it didn't fit the character. These conflicting opinions ended up leading to Marvel pulling the license away and the game was canceled. Like a lot of canceled superhero games, there was a ton of potential for the character and for the idea, and I think it's time that Marvel gave it another go. The character is so beloved and means so much to so many people that it would be a waste to see him get lost to the ages of canceled video games. And so what could a big budget Daredevil video game look like if it was released today. Well, the first thing that they'd have to get right is the world. In most of his stories, Daredevil is based in Hell's Kitchen in New York, and getting the tone and the feel of that area of the city is vital. Now, whether or not this would be an open world game, I'm kind of 50-50 on. On one hand, Daredevil isn't a stranger to traversing around with his billy club, so there could be some fun movement mechanics you can implement, on top of using his radar senses to find trouble and activities out in the world. It's important to note, though, that Hell's Kitchen is actually a relatively small area of New York. It's only about 15 or so square blocks. And as we all know, if Daredevil sees a murderer across 59th Street, that becomes Spider-Man's problem. And so the game would have to make up for the small area by focusing even more on the depth of the world. Interiors, undergrounds, and different layers and levels to fill it up and make such a small area feel more alive. Now, it could be set in San Francisco, like Mark Wade's run of the character featured, but I think his relationship with Hell's Kitchen is too closely tied to what makes Daredevil great to ignore for his first game. But on the other hand, I don't know if I would want every single superhero game to be a big open world. I think if we're going to be getting more of these Marvel games, we don't want to flood the market with more of the same, and we should be getting some kind of variety. Whether that means a strictly linear game or a variety of different hub worlds or a full-on open world that could go either way for me personally. The next thing that they have to get right is the combat. Daredevil is a master martial artist, but he's not as flashy as a character like Spider-Man, zipping around the battlefield, knocking people into the air and webbing them up. And so the combat should reflect that. And I think the perfect game that could serve as the basis for how the combat should work is Sifu, developed by Slow Clap from 2022. Sifu has probably my favorite combat in any game ever. It's so deep and complex and fun to play, but also so grounded and punishing for every encounter. And it perfectly fits the tone that a character like Daredevil needs. And I mean, it's based really heavily on a lot of action and martial arts movies, just like the Daredevil Netflix show was. The game could have different weapon stances, one for Daredevil's Billy Club, one with it split into two batons, and one barehanded that each have different combo strings and are better for different enemy types, just like the upcoming Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which I'm so goddamn excited for. Each enemy in Sifu has a structure bar that fills up with attacks, blocks, and parries, and when it fills, you can perform a takedown. Since the best way to fill it up is with perfect parries, the game rewards patience in reading enemy animations and getting the timing just right. Also, these takedowns... <laughs> 
are fucking brutal. But Daredevil is more than just a guy with kung fu. His radar senses give him an extra layer in combat, and I would want to see them done justice. It seems like every superhero game nowadays lets you see through walls, whether it's Batman's Detective Vision or Spider-Man's Spider Sense, and so Daredevil would need more than just that to stand out. So my idea is a meter that would fill up over time. When you push a button, you have a period where the entire screen goes black as Daredevil focuses his senses, and the only thing you can see is the sound waves reverberating in the environment, just like in 2017's Perception. The goal of this would be high risk, but high reward. Enemy attacks are more clear, maybe with an Arkham style indicator. You do extra damage, you can take down enemies faster, but you have more damage dealt to you, you get stunned by gunshots and loud noises, and different enemy types like ninjas could make less noise and catch you off guard. If this is exclusive to PS5, they could also lean into the controller here and all the immersive capabilities that it has. Maybe when in this mode, vibrations are stronger and you hear echoes of people out in the city. Now, if Daredevil were just all about beating people up, that could be enough, but there's another layer that makes this character so special that I would love to see implemented in a game, and that's Matt Murdock's life as a lawyer. Superhero games tend to let the secret identity part of the character go by the wayside, only using it for story moments, and oftentimes players just end up waiting for the section to end so that we can get back to the fun stuff. But since the lawyer by day, vigilante by night angle is so important to the character, I think it could be fun to see that in gameplay. Maybe there are different quests or side objectives where a client comes to Matt asking for help, and as you fight people as Daredevil, you're also collecting clues and information to help with the case. And when you think you've gathered enough evidence, you can go to court and finish the quest. Now, it doesn't have to be a full-on dang and rompa trial with a bunch of mini games to really video gamify it. I know she stabbed him with a knife. But can you spell the word knife? Yes. In this fun game? But I do think it would be cool if you had to figure out when someone was lying and if you got graded based on your performance in court. As for the story of the game, there's a few different ways they could go about it. Daredevil is a character who exists in the perfect space in Marvel, in my opinion. He's popular enough that he'll always get a book and you'll always get amazing writers like Mark Wade and Chip Zdarsky writing for him, but he's not so popular that editorial is breathing down their necks all the time. The result is that Daredevil rarely ever has a bad book, and so there's a ton of stories that they could pull from in a game. But I think it would be interesting to explore a little more of the effects after Fisk was arrested in the first Spider-Man. That game made it clear that the power vacuum was filled with super powered criminals like the Inner Demons and later the Tinkerers Underground, and it can be interesting to explore more of the ramifications. For so long, Matt has been dealing with Fisk's guys, and now he has to come to terms with things that he's not sure he's capable of handling. Maybe because of the extra supervillains, Spider-Man isn't able to focus on the organized crime as much, and Daredevil's forced to pick up the slack. And then you throw the organization of the hand into the mix, and I think that could be really interesting. As for side characters, Foggy and Karen are a must at this point. They're super important to Matt as a character, and to Daredevil as a whole, and I think we need to see the three's relationship in a game. If the story has to do with the hand, Elektra is also also essential, and I would love to see other street-level superheroes like Spider-Man, Moon Knight, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and the Punisher find their way into the story, either in the main plot or in side missions. There's a ton of potential for boss fights with the character, especially if there's a deep combat system like Sifu. Kingpin is still in jail, but he's a must, along with Bullseye, Typhoid Mary, Rose, the Enforcers, and a ton more. But of course, what good is a superhero game if it doesn't have costumes? The Netflix show struggled for a bit to figure out how to get the suit right, but I really liked how it looked in season 3 when Bullseye was wearing it. And of course, there's a Frank Miller-inspired black suit so I can recreate the hallway fight. There's the classic yellow and red suit, both the comic version and the one from She-Hulk. I know it's a hot take, but it's not really my cup of tea. Uh, it's nothing personal against the suit or anything. Maybe I just don't like the color yellow, but I know a lot of people really like it. Like most characters, Fortnite actually has a really cool design for Daredevil, including a cel-shaded comic style that looks really cool. And then you have the black and red suit from Shadowlands, a book that I haven't read and I have heard not great things about but I like that suit a lot, so. And then of course there's the Ben Affleck movie suit in all of its leather and Evanescence glory. And I think a fun but weird one would be the suit from the time in the 70s that David Bowie's wife tried to make a Black Widow show. Matt Murdock is a fantastic character. He's been so beloved for years for a good reason. He's a character with so much fear, pain, anger, and guilt. And the best Daredevil stories explore his relationship with those dark feelings. Too often he uses the mask as a coping mechanism or an outlet for his rage. Matt has an unhealthy relationship with the Daredevil mantle, yet still finds a way to rise above that darkness and use it to help people. And whoever ends up making a Daredevil game, whether it's Insomniac or Sifu Slow Clap or whoever, they have to make sure to at least get that right. But what would you want to see in a hypothetical Daredevil game? And let me know down below what other characters you'd like to see adapted into a video game. And if you like this video, be sure to like button and subscribe. Special thanks to Alto the Sting, Already Done It, Cabbage Boy, Cassidy Bond, Chicken McDoofus, Cosmic Tragedy, Eden Kenna, Iron Ninja, Jake Selig, Jonah, Corey's Not Fresh, Lime Spice XL, Logue Triplet Films, Simply Dan, Spectacular Clyde, Sully Hogs, Tim Newfeld, Troy Says Bio Rager is Lame, Tyler Goodrich, Yush Kapoor, Zachary Stonebreaker, Zero to Hero 148, and ZZ Toasty for being spectacular fanboys on my Patreon. This is Troy Boy 17 coming at you live. Be responsible and I'll see you around.